it'll simply be a point of light moving against the star background. It's going to be 10th magnitude, which is about 50 times fainter than you can see with the naked eye. But if amateur astronomers have a, a smallish telescope, uh, three inches in aperture or larger, they can observe it if they have clear skies. There have been some notices on the internet that have been uh, very incorrect and very misleading. Uh, uh, we've pointed out time and time again that this object is not a threat. Uh, it cannot approach the Earth in a threatening manner. It's simply a, a magnificent scientific opportunity to observe an asteroid this size this close. NASA is doing their part by running four full-time observatory campaigns to detect, discover, and track these objects. So it's uh, one of the few natural potential nat natural disasters that we could do something about. Amateur astronomers and professional astronomers should take advantage of our website, neo.jpl.nasa.gov, and they can generate tables of positions. They can see the illustrations that we've made of the object passing by various stars. And so that would help them uh, orient themselves and, and take a look.